Good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome to each and every one tonight, near and far from the east, the west, the north, and the south. We just give God all the glory and welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy to see everyone on the call, as I said, far and near. And, you know, just um, before we start, I thought how amazing prayer is. Because um, I cannot at this moment, I would like to, but I cannot at this moment go to Pakistan to assist Pastor Joseph there. But my prayer can reach him there. I cannot go to Belgium to assist uh, Brother Cornier and Marina there. But my prayer can go, can travel there. So tonight we are so honored to have everyone on the call, no matter from what side of the world you are, we are here to pray. And I want to say once again, welcome, welcome. And thank you for taking the time to um, just connect for 30 short minutes um, to unite in prayer and um we trust God. I have posted a number of uh, a list of um, requests in the group there, but we speak life and we declare, we speak Jesus into every circumstance and we trust God for a miracle outcome. So um, those of you who have your mics open, would you please be so kind for the while um uh, just to close it, and as soon as I ask, request whoever um, to pray, then you can open your mic. Other than that, you keep your mic, mic closed, but you still are standing in agreement with our prayers. I would not take up much time tonight. I want to encourage you um, by um, a very well-known verse. Um, um, if I can just get it here quickly, you know it all so well in Second Timothy. And when I was re reading this in my study time this morning, I um, was actually, um, I thought Paul um, is encouraging Timothy and he's, he's actually um, telling him to listen, you, you don't be, be fearless, don't be timid. Um, because God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. And um, God gave us a spirit of boldness to stand up against the kingdom of darkness. If you're not going to do it and if I'm not going to do it, who is going to do it? So I want to encourage you to be fearless, to be fearless. Fearless when it comes to the things of God. Stand out with boldness in the name of Jesus. So I um, tonight, um, as you are sitting there in front of your device, you are not here to, um, to watch the television or series or anything. We are here on this call to pray. And we trust God for breakthrough. So tonight, we are so blessed. We have got Pastor Joseph from Pakistan. And I asked him, will he just greet us and um, uh, encourage us with a few minutes for, uh, 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 in a few minutes time? Because time just ticks on so fast. Um, and lead us in prayer as God leads him to pray. I know it must be, he can he can rectify me now, but I think it must be 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock already in Pakistan. And after that, um, we have got all our people from across borders tonight to pray. After that, I would like to ask our brother Cornier to just... Um, to just uh, proceed and lead us in prayer. And there where you sit in front of your device, you stand in agreement. If you don't stand in agreement, um, 
um, go and watch television. But here we are to pray and we are here to take hands, to unite in prayer and to encourage each other and to lift each other up and to stand in the gap, gap and to pray for those who are in need. So Pastor Joseph, once again, welcome from Lahore in Pakistan. God bless you. Um, you can open, you might open your mic and just uh, for a few minutes, encourage us and pray with us. Yes. Uh, my name is Pastor Joseph Mahayuddin. I'm from Lahore, Pakistan. We are serving Lord Jesus Christ in different areas of Pakistan. My church ministry name is the Bible Revival Ministries of Pakistan. It is registered by government. So we are doing ministry work in different areas. We are running church, Sunday school ministry, women ministry, youth ministry. And uh, we are doing outreach ministry in different, different villages. And uh, who believe in Jesus Christ, uh, we give them water baptism. And uh, uh, when we give them water baptism, we give them the Holy Bible as a gift. And we follow them up so they can make a strong believer. So it is our uh, ministry work in Pakistan. I want to give you the short introduction of me and my uh, uh, ministry. So uh, today I want to encourage uh, you with the uh, verses of uh, Bible. So it is very important for us to be, uh, be prepared ourselves, make prepare ourselves for the rapture. So there is uh, written in uh, the Bible, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 15 to 16 i'm uh, repeating the reference first peter chapter 1 verse 15 to 16 there is written but just as he who called you is holy so be holy in all you do for it is written be holy because i am holy Thank you for this uh, verse. So, uh, amen. Dear brother and sister, as Bible says, we should be holy because uh, without being holy, we cannot enter the kingdom of God. So it is necessary, it is important to be holy. As a Christian, as a priest, as an evangelist, as a apostles, we should uh, we should be holy, because our Creator, our Heavenly Father, is holy, and He is saying you should be holy, because holy things are appreciated by God. God will take them. Uh, into heaven, into his kingdom, because he do not want to, he does not want to take along with him uh, in heaven, in kingdom, the uh, filthy things, unrich, unritual things, and bad things, because he wants to take all the things that are ritual and holy so uh, if you want to be a part of the kingdom you must be holy so uh, if we see in matthew chapter 7 verse 21 to 23 matthew chapter 7 and verse 21 to 23 there is written not everyone who calls out to me Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. Will of my Father in heaven will enter. On judgment day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesy. 
baptized in your name and cast out demons in your name and perform many miracles in your name name but i will reply i never knew you get away from me you who break god's laws so here is written in the bible only those who actually do the will of my father in heaven will enter those those people who will who will fulfill the will of god what is the will of, uh, will of god today we will see from the bible what is the will of god if you see in the bible 1 thessalonian chapter 4 and verse 3 1 thessalonian first thessalonian chapter 4 and verse 3 there is written god's will is for you to be holy so stay away from all sexual sin so what is written in the uh, verse 3 god's will is for you to be holy so it is god's will to be holy so those person who fulfill the will of god will enter into the kingdom of god so it is god's will to be holy if you if we will not make ourselves holy we will not go into the heaven we should be prepare ourselves uh, this is the time and the time is very near and uh, jesus is about to come he is in hurry but we are delaying delaying we are not ma making ourselves holy according to the bible according to the will of god so it is will of god we should be holy so when jesus will come uh, into the cloud so we will go and uh, 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 he will take us into the heaven into the kingdom of god so we will be the part of of his kingdom if we are holy so rest of the people who are not uh, be uh, who will not be holy they will remain on earth they will cry they will they will shout and uh, there will be no any kind of the uh, uh, calm and peace and happiness in their life and uh, satan will destroy their uh, lives so the holy people will, will go into the kingdom of god and dear brother and sisters this is the time to make yourself holy according to the uh bible and uh, we should be uh, like we should be like by god if we are holy so prepare yourself for the rapture because rapture is near so i want to encourage you with this teaching be holy okay uh, let's pray close your eyes Heavenly Father, I am very thankful to you for this moment, for this opportunity that you have given us this lesson from the Bible. So we should be holy because not being holy, we cannot enter into the kingdom of God. We do not be a part of your kingdom, not part of your plans. So you love the holy people who. Uh, make themselves righteous holy because god love holy people so heavenly father please raise your gracious gracious hand upon us so we can grow uh, in spirituality and make ourselves holy according to your teaching and send your holy spirit who can guide us so we can follow your teachings i pray in jesus name amen
I mean, thank you so much, um, Pastor Joseph um, from Pakistan. We really, really appreciate the you truth that you shared. Uh, God bless you, and we keep you and your ministry and your family in prayer. Cornier, are you there, my brother, from Belgium? Yes, yes, we are here. Live and kicking in Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Joseph. Really, we are holy. We are completely different than the system of the world. And that we in, indeed must live a holy life. And thank God that he given us the ability to do so by the Holy Spirit and to, and to his work. And to choose for it, of course. What is on my heart is that yeah. we are in a battle. As long as we are on planet Earth, we will be in a battle. And that's good news. Because we live, we walk in battles that are, are already won by Jesus on the cross. Now, does that mean that we have to do nothing? No, we have to do something. Because Jesus gave us, according to Matthew 16, he gave us the keys of the kingdom. Hallelujah. So when there is a battle, you must praise God. You must lift up your voice because you are on the winning side, whatever it is, the battle. And that, that battles, uh, we are in a battle. Jesus gave us uh, an example. When he was in the ship on the sea, he was in a connection with his father. Now, to be in a battle, we you, you walk by faith in that battle. You take that keys. Actually, the keys are given to close and to open. The, the keys of the kingdom that we have received from Jesus by grace, and by faith, we, we, we take those keys. You close the mouth of Satan. Hallelujah. Because he, come, he comes to you in your mind with all kinds of evil thoughts, uh, fear, anxiety, all those, 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 those kinds of things. But you, we can, by that key, close his mouth and that he will shut up. Hallelujah. And then the voice of God by the Holy Spirit comes and uh, uh, enter again. But as, at the other hand, we can open heaven. We can open the heavens by that keys we have received. It's also we walk by faith. We do it by faith. We receive all the blessings that are yea and amen because God says always yes through his blessings. That we receive them by faith to, to use that key of faith. Now, faith is actually... And uh, 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 trusting God, relying Him. It has to do with communion. It has to do with knowing Him. And this is the this, this is the key. This is the key of prayer. When we enter prayer, you enter His presence. Jesus, when He was on the boat, He was in the full presence of His Father. And that's the, the major, that this key number one. You are in that presence, and in the presence there is fullness of joy. There is no fear. There is no anxiety. There is, there is uh, no attack of uh, Satan uh, against your mind. And from that perfect, perfect uh, uh, place of, of, of uh, peace, you take that key. And the key is authority. You speak to that storm. You speak to the mountain. And it has to change. There has to be something. Because God has given us those keys. And uh, we, Maria and I, we are going to sing a song for you. And we, uh, I, I think the most, of, the most of you, you know that song. But first, I'm, we are going to sing it in Dutch. And, and, and that the ghost, I will enter his gaze. But first, we are going to sing it in Dutch. So... Here we go. Op ga naar ons huis met je jubel en je juich. Ik zal komen in strijd half met lof. Ik zal eren onze Heer die zijn dagen maakt. Ik ben druk, want Jezus maakt mij blij. Jezus maakt mij blij. Oh, Jezus maakt mij blij. Ik ben druk, want Jezus maakt mij blij. Jezus maakt mij blij. Jezus maakt mij blij. Ik ben verrukt, want Jezus maakt mij blij. In Corneo. I will enter his gaze with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his course with praise. I will say that this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, for he has made me glad. 
He has made me glad, oh, he has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad, oh, he has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have put your gladness, the heavenly gladness, the gladness of not of this world, but the gladness of Jesus, the gladness of heaven, you put that by the Holy Spirit into our innermost being, into our spirit, that we can be glad, that we can rejoice in all the situations that we are in. Lord, we give you, we thank you, Lord, and that's my prayer, that you draw everyone who's on the call closer into your presence, into your presence, Lord. Draw us, talk to us, draw us, that we can react on it and that we can come into your presence because there is no other place on, in, on the universe where there is full happiness and that is in the presence of Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Only there you are rich. All riches, all riches of heaven, planet earth, all what there is, is in Christ Jesus, in his presence. That's my prayer. And we bless South Africa. We bless South Africa. We speak of, by, uh, we, we speak a blessing. We speak prosperity over all South Africa. We speak the church into a new realm of revelation of heaven. We speak we speak blessing, we speak the goodness, that only goodness will follow every member of South Africa, every citizen of South Africa, that only goodness will follow him, the goodness of heaven, hallelujah. And that heaven we proclaim, heaven open over South Africa, hallelujah. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, amen, hallelujah, amen, amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. We give God all the glory. Thank you so much, um, Cornia and Marina. Uh, just remember, we also keep you always in our hearts and in our prayers. I did also ask uh, Tina from Namibia to, to come up, but it seems to me that she is struggling with connection. So then we will now move from Pakistan to from from Pakistan to Belgium to South Africa. And then I would like to ask Isidore um, if you would just wrap up everything and Pray, pray also for our beloveds abroad, every one of them, they are in, in their own special ministry there, and also for the request, maybe we cannot, you won't be able to name them everything, but God knows, and we just stand in agreement. Thank you so much, Brother Isidore from South Africa. Hallelujah, I was truly blessed. Hallelujah. Father, we are thankful, we are we are so thankful, Lord, that we can gather once again tonight on a Monday, Father, and to lift up your name, Father, and to bring glory and honor and praise unto you, Father God. Lord, as, as a community, Lord, an assembly, Father God, assembled from various places in the world, Father, it's such a, so amazing, Lord, how the love for you, Lord God, brings us together. And Lord, it's love that you've placed in our hearts, Father my God, for you first loved us, Lord. Therefore, we are able to love and to move and to have our being in you, Lord Jesus. And so tonight, Lord, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for what you are doing in our lives, Father. My God, you are faithful. You are an amazing God. Lord, you are a good God. You're a great Father, my God, that, Lord, we can make all things known unto you. your word, says, my God, and that, Father, you hear our prayers. Your ears is attentive to our prayers, Lord. And so tonight, Lord, we are thankful. Father God, as, as Corne and Pastor, Father God, as uh, Pastor has prayed, Father, my Lord Joseph, my God, and minister to us, Lord. We are just so thankful for their ministries, Lord, and, and Father, for what they are doing in the various parts of the of the world, Father. My God, we we just thank you for them reaching out and touching the lives of many others out there. And they are, Lord, they are so bold and Father God and 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 full of fire for you, you Father. Your word says that your zeal must consume us. And so, Father, I pray that that zeal will continue to burn within their hearts, the, the zeal that you have placed in their hearts and the love for you, Lord, and for the love for the lost, Father God, and to do your will, Father, 
my God, will burn and consume them, Father God, and they will bring glory and praise and honor unto you. Father, I pray that you'll protect them, protect their families and their loved ones, my God. And for those on the call tonight, Lord, in ministries, as I heard even out in Namibia, Father, wherever you have placed us, Father, my God, there you have called us to minister, to be, to be a uh, to be salt and light, Father, to be an example for you, an ambassador for you, Father. And so, God Almighty, I pray that you will bless each and every one, protect them, Father, that, Lord, you will strengthen them, Father God, and grant them, Father God, uh, favor, Father, with man, Lord, wherever you have placed them, Father, and that their lives will bring glory and praise and honor unto you, Father. God, give them wisdom and, and insight, Lord, and, and, and uh, Father, strategy, Lord, as we we go into our communities and Lord, be it in our marketplaces, Lord, and wherever you've called us and placed us, Lord, Father, that we will, Lord, not be intimidated in any way, but Lord, we will boldly proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it's the power unto salvation. Father God, we thank you that your spirit leads us, your spirit give us utterance, Lord, when we do not know what to do, what to say that your spirit will lead, Father. And so, God, we praise you. We give you glory and honor, Father, that many will come to know Jesus Christ. In the times that we're living, it is dark and perilous times, my God. We just see what's happening in the world. People are talking about Armageddon happening because they, their eyes is on what's happening in Israel. And the world is coming up against the nation of Israel. Who, those uh, Israel is your covenant people. Lord, you do not slumber, never, neither do you sleep, Lord. My God, but you protect the nation of Israel for you are covenant keeping God. And so, Lord, as the world is coming up, Lord, these are all things that uh, uh, tells us, Lord, that your coming is soon. We need to be ready. We need to be like the, the virgins, the five virgins that are ready, ready, having oil in our lamps. My God, Lord, waiting for your coming, Lord. And so, Father God, and, and, and the same way, my God, we need to encourage one another and Lord to, to help one another. Father God, in this time, Lord, so that we are, we will be ready as as Pastor has ministered and even and Kone has ministered tonight, Lord. And we thank you, Father. It's not by might nor by power, but your spirit. Your spirit is moving in our hearts. It's moving across the world, touching the hearts and the lives of people. We thank you. We praise you. We give you all the glory and all the honor. Father God, you know that, Father, there is, Lord God, prayer request that has gone forth, Lord people that are struggling in various areas of their lives, Father, as I do not know all the needs, Lord, that has been put forth on the on the group, Lord, but God, you know each and every one, Father, we bring them up before your throne tonight, and we thank you, God, that, Lord, you hear the prayers, you hear the request, you see the request, my God, and we pray, Father, that, Lord, the power of the enemy will be broken over their lives, Father, for we know our battle is not against flesh and blood, but as powers of darkness and evil, the principalities, Lord, that we come up against. But great are you, Lord, that is within us, Lord. Great are you, Lord, my God. And Father, we, you have said that we can ask you anything, Lord. And so, Father, we pray that you will bring healing where healing is needed, Lord, for those that are on that has put forward the request. Father, that you'll bring provision where provision is needed, Lord, be it finances, Lord, be it, Father God, in situations where they need to hear from from people, Lord, as Leanne has put forth, Lord God, uh, papers and, and she's forwarded papers, Lord, and, and needing, Lord, an answer and needing a, a, you to intervene mightily, miraculously, Lord, my God. And we know that the enemy will push back and hold back. But God, may the powers of the enemy be broken in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we speak, Lord God, victory. Father God, victory and success, Lord, and that you work in the hearts and the lives of people to give, Lord God, to, to, to do the right thing, Lord, and, and that they will, Father, sign these papers and give approval, Father, for what is needed, Lord. We pray this in the mighty name of Jesus for Leanne. And so, Lord God, and, and Father, those that, that have marriages that are struggling with, Father God, Lord, help them. Father God, bring people together, Lord, marriages, Lord God. Father, with children that has gone astray, Father, we pray that you will bring families together and that, Lord, that you would intervene mightily, Father, as we know, Lord God, that you are a mighty God. You are a good Father. That's what we ask. We know, Lord, you will provide and you will come through for us, Father. And so we pray a blessing upon that, that prayer request, Lord God, and victory and success, Lord, and healing, Lord God, 
in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray a blessing upon each and every one tonight, Lord, and that you'll be glorified in our lives. And that, Father God, wherever we go, whatever we say, whatever we do, it is all for your glory and all for your honor. May we keep our eyes on you, Lord Jesus. You are the author and the finisher of our faith. You are the Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. And Lord God, we thank you, Lord, that we are victorious in you and we give you all the praise. We speak, Lord, a blessing upon Israel, Father God, peace upon Jerusalem. And as we commemorate, Lord, a year that has gone by, Father, where these atrocities has happened, Lord, Father, we pray that you will bless them. Father, those that are in hostage, the hostage key that are still been held hostage, my God, Father, be with them, Lord. Lord, help them, Lord God. May they be released, Father. Father God, even the bodies of those that have been killed, Lord, Father, God, that it will be released, Father. I pray a blessing upon these, upon the nation of Israel, all across the Jewish people, across the world, Father, that they will come to know Jesus Christ as Lord, as Savior, through this, Lord, through what is happening, my God. Jesus, you are the Messiah. Hallelujah. You are Hamashiach. Uh, you are Yeshua Hamashiach. You are the Lord. You are the God. That, that rain and that you have paid the price. Your, your blood was shed, hallelujah, for us. And Lord, you have revealed yourself through the people of Israel, through the nation of Israel. We give you praise. So bless them, Lord, protect them in this time, Father God, and peace and upon Jerusalem and, and, and upon the nation of Israel. In Jesus' mighty name, we give you praise and we give you thanks, Lord, as we go into the week. We give you all the glory and all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory indeed because your loving kindness is better than life. Lord, we declare that you are God and there is no one like you, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, that um, for your presence. I thank you that you will never turn a deaf ear towards your children when they call uh, upon your name. And I thank you, Lord, via this uh, uh, platform borders has got no limitation to unite and just um, I'm so mindful of um, that that says all over the spirit is moving Lord and I thank you for your resurrection power that is moving in this hour so that Jesus might be glorified Lord I give you all the glory all the honor and all the praise Lord thank you that I can speak a blessing over every person on this call tonight with their extended families I pray for your protection I pray for your provision I pray Pray, Lord, that you will, um, that your Holy Spirit fire will burn in our hearts like never ever before. And Lord, as we heard tonight, it uh, that that uh, it is it, we are living in very very serious times, and we, that we need to live holy every second of the day, Lord. And Lord, I thank you that tonight I can speak this over our household and over each and every one of those of you are on the call and I want to declare that this week no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper no tongue that will rise against us we will condemn it in judgment in Jesus name Lord I thank you that we can declare there is no one like you God and you are the one and only there is no other God you are the true um, the true and living God our creator our redeemer you are faithful you are our father and we we honor you for Jesus we honor you for the Holy Spirit Lord we worship you tonight Lord I thank you that your word says if we submit ourselves to you we can resist the devil and he will flee from us so I pray Lord for every one of us to live a life of submission to uh, uh, um, in unreserved obedience to you Lord in the name of Jesus and now 
now I resist the devil and all his pressures, all his attacks and all his deceptions and all his lies and every instrument or agent that he would seek to use against us. We do not submit that. We resist him. We drive him away from us tonight. We exclude him from us in the name of Jesus. And specifically, I come tonight and I reject and I repel every form of witchcraft, every form of the occult, every spirit of infirmity, infections, malignancies, viruses, pain, inflammation, allergies. You will go in Jesus' name. I command every spirit of depression, of heaviness and confusion and deception to go in Jesus' name. Every spirit of accusation, of condemnation, you go right now in Jesus' name. Every spirit of bitterness, every spirit of unforgiveness, Lord, where there is unforgiveness, you cannot bless. I command you to go in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord, this week you are going to confuse the plans of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that you are great and you do miracles and this week we will walk in your blessing. This week we will enter newness. This week we will enter with, with thanksgiving in our hearts, Lord. I thank you this week we are blessing the field and blessing the city. Lord, I thank you that we can speak a blessing over our government, that they will come into divine alignment so that they can lead morally and ethically. Lord, I thank you that I can speak into our businesses, Lord, that our businesses are blessed and successful and that we are increasing and not decreasing, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that I can speak into the lives of our loved ones, Lord, that they, that they will come back into alignment with the word of God. And I decree tonight that wealth and riches are in our house, Lord. I thank you that we will stand up, that you will raise us up as a mighty army to the glory and the honor of God with boldness to stand up and stand out for you to the glory and the honor uh, of your mighty name. I thank you, Lord, each and every one of us. We are loved by God. We are chosen by God and we are protected by God under his precious blood. Be blessed. Be blessed in the name of Jesus and stand victorious victorious on the promises of God and choose to speak life in 